Sabbath, blow ye winds, blow and blow. Not funny, V. No, it isn't. No, not when your big surprise goes over like a lead balloon. What is the matter, Jack? Just be aware, I'm extending a courtesy to you you didn't see fit to extend to me. That is, discussing our personal business in private. Our personal business? How I get a job and who I get a job from is my personal business. Now, when you involve yourself in my business of getting a job, then it is our personal business. Now, whether I want your involvement or not is a matter entirely different. Fact is, I don't. Particularly not when it consists of your buying my way in. Wait a minute, Jack. Just now, your mother may have taken care of your father. That doesn't mean that you take care of me. Take care of you? I, I meant to do something for you, not something to you. This was all meant to please you. I'm not pleased. You're, you're not pleased because you're looking at this through the wrong end of the telescope. Can't you just... Accept this in the spirit in which it was given, joyously and with love, much, much love. Beautiful. Beautiful. You love me. You love me so much, you parade me in front of a room full of people, like a prize pony, wearing your colors, displaying everything but the price tag you dangling from my ears. You be huh? kidding. I do not like to be humiliated in public. My God, how you twist things. You were being appreciated. The people downstairs are your friends. Ray Woodard? Ray Woodard is there for laughs. For my amusement. If there was any public humiliation here tonight, it was hers. Not the way she saw it. But what do I give a damn how she sees it? I care about you. I care that you were fired. You were done wrong. I wanted to make it right. Yeah, well, you didn't. Woodard, money and power fired me. Now Kirkland, money and power hires me. What the hell do I have to do about it, huh? Look, you belong on TV. You're wonderful at it, and you want to go back to it, don't you? Don't you? Yes, yeah, sure. Sure, I'd like some producer to say, hey, that finale's good. Let's, let's make him an offer. One of my peers who recognizes the quality of my work. What? But I'm not a peer, right? I'm just some rich patroness who's looking for a poor little orphan boy to patronize. Will you come off it? You are not a peer because you're not a professional. You may have dabbled and dibbled in the arts at your convenience. Oh, stop. When have you ever grubbed from nine to five, huh? When have you ever gotten a raise or a promotion because you earned it, because you worked for it, because you sweated for it, huh? Because you were the best one of the job. When it wasn't just because somebody gave it to you or bought it for you. We're back to the money again, aren't we? Never mind that it might help you. Never mind that it might get you back on the road where you want to be. What is this, some kind of weird Italian macho trip? Do you know that Christopher Columbus would have rotted on the docks of Genoa if Isabella hadn't come along with some cash? Christopher Columbus? Yeah. Did she want to sail with him and take the steering that's wheel? It. That's huh? it. That's what's got you, isn't it? That I want to be involved in running this station. Why? You don't think I can do it? In your present state of ignorance? No. Oh, but you! You were experts when you grabbed that microphone from that little girl reporter, aren't you? And, and launched a new career, huh? You were only superb. Don't you see? I just want you to go on doing what you do so well. And I want to share a little of that with you. Share? Is that what you call working for you? With me. You work with me, I work with you, we work together. And how do we keep our personal relationship out of this uh, work-share idea, huh? Separate offices with uh, real hard chairs. Then you slip my paycheck under my pillow? I never dreamed you would react this way. I never dreamed you could do such a thing. Over my head without even consulting with me beforehand. When do you consult people about their surprises, huh? When do you give someone a surprise that shifts their entire emotional social life? It hasn't shifted. It won't shift if we don't let it. Lee, if you had set out to make trouble between us, you couldn't have done a better job. Did I do something right? Did I do something right? Oh, grazie, grazie tanto, signor, huh? If you weren't a guest in this house, I'd tell you where to get off with these macho, male chauvinist Yahoo ideas. If I weren't a guest in your house, I would tell you exactly and precisely what you can do with your television station. Uh, 
breaking up. I'm sorry, I have to leave also. I have another engagement. Roger, are you ready to go? Because I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Please, thank you. Good night. Uh, so we uh, dissect this little affair over dinner. My treat, of course. Oh, darling, I can't. Not this time. I really do have an engagement way downtown. Wicked. Oh. No, not before. Oh.